Hey guys, how's it going? Just want to take you through the rest of the guitar parts to this song, uh, Spirit Move by Bethel. Um, now I've done another uh, guitar tutorial uh, on the lead, what I call the lead guitar parts to this song. So check that out on my channel, on my YouTube channel. Um, it's called Bethel, Spirit Move uh, Bethel Lead Guitar Tutorial. Um, so this is a great song, great song for guitar. Um, so if you haven't checked out the lead guitar tutorial, basically the intro and the verses um, are this part. Okay, um, so if you haven't checked out that tutorial, go check that out. I'll just really quickly do it for you now um, to save you some time. Uh, we're up here on the 7th, 8th fret, and the notes are... This is with delay and some chorus. And he picks it fast with a lot of kind of muting. down in my other video so check that out um, and then the other lead kind of guitar part in the um, chorus uh, which one guitar plays is two guitar parts to this song one guitar plays this one okay so I break that down in the other video as well but just really quickly 13th fret up here Okay, so those are the two lead guitar parts in my other video, so yeah, check that out. Um, now let me take you through what I call some of the rhythm parts. What you're going to need is a light overdrive. This is in the key of B flat, but we're going to capo on the third fret and play G chord shapes. So G, uh, C add 9, if we're playing the actual chords, D, and E minor. Okay. Um, effects wise I've got some light overdrive on not too heavy um, delay which I believe is actually an eighth note delay not a dotted eighth but an eighth note which is twice as fast as a quarter note so the song is like two three four and the delay is one and two and three and four um, I could be wrong but I think it's called an eighth note delay. Um, so get that. A little bit of reverb um, and also the, Michael Pope, the uh, Bethel guitarist, uses a little bit of chorus on this song. So so if you've got a chorus pedal, I've just got an old Boss CE2, one of those old chorus pedals. You can put that on too if you want. Okay, so um, the verses, intro, is that, then when it gets into the pre-chorus, it does this. Okay, so let me break that down for you. It's getting around, the chords are E minor. Add nine and D. Um, but instead of playing the chords, they play this. Okay, now if you don't have a capo, if you're playing the second guitar part and you don't need a capo, just bar that with your finger and play it like that. Um, but with the capo, the first one is so just middle finger or index finger on the fifth fret, fourth string, and these two uh, second and, and uh, third string are open. So okay, next open. So three, four, two, again 
finger on the fifth fret for string. And the last one is this. It's, it's a D triad, well, D shaped triad. So index finger here, fifth fret, third string, ring finger here, seventh fret, fourth string, and your middle finger will go on the second string, sixth fret. So, okay, one more time. So that's the pre-chorus and then into the chorus there's two guitar parts I'm going to show you the rhythm part the lead part is that that part there um, the rhythm part does this seven and then you slide that C shape up two frets up here so your ring finger is now on the eighth fret there okay so C shape here and the, the notes are okay so fifth string fourth string second string slide it up same open G string there or Michael Pope actually hits this with his pinky the fourth string there so it's the same note it doesn't really matter I find it easier just to hit that open string there so So one more time. Now the tricky thing is he comes in the off on the off beat. It's like one, two, three, four. he pretty much plays that then the second verse he does this okay so all it is we're up here middle finger you can put your middle finger on the fourth string and what's that eighth fret uh, index finger on the uh, seventh fret and third string basically he hits the fourth string and then those two together but with a muting okay and then he just lifts the pressure off and kind of mutes that so if I take the delay off chorus do that again that's one guitar the other guitar plays this um, Which 
one you want to play. This is a little bit tricky. Um, I'm going to slow it down for you. Again, I'll take the delay up. So starting here with your pinky, fifth string, um, tenth fret. Okay, that shape again. And then up here. Those two on the tenth fret. And then you just change to this note here. But those two remain the same. tricky you're gonna to have to practice that um, and then into the bridge this is probably the trickiest part um, what he I'm gonna play it for you and then break it down to practice this um, let me show you now what it is the top part of these chords stays the same and the bass note changes so what you want to do is put your pinky on the 4th string and the 8th fret and your index finger on the 3rd string and the 5th fret and those two stay the same the whole time and you're just moving the bass note. So the first bass note is right here, okay, middle finger, 8th fret, 5th uh, string and then these two stay the same the whole time, okay? So it's a bit of a stretch. And the picking uh, part remains the same, the picking order. stretch ring finger up here above the pinky on the what's that ninth fret there fifth string okay then the E string cycles twice each time by the way then the open E string and then here but they do it twice each time like this Okay, and 
and slightly par, par muted there. So that is probably the hardest part um, of the song. Uh, and if that's just all too hard, what you can do is just play the chords. C add 9, D, E minor, and G. And then the last time, sorry, I forgot to show you, the last time is... Oh, uh, sorry. second part of the bridge he plays something like um, like this is still playing that other part and the other guitar is playing that so you can choose which part you play or play half and half which is what I do so let me quickly show you that and the notes you can just you can just copy this it's fairly easy tricky. Hope that helps. See you next time.